Welcome to our lecture online. In this set of videos, we're going to talk about rational exponents. And we're starting out with the rules of exponents, which are no different from normal exponents, integer exponents, I should say, compared to rational exponents. Of course, what do we mean by rational exponents? It means that the exponents are in fractional form. So what are the rules again? We should have already learned them before, but let's repeat them and then see some examples of how to deal with them when the exponents are in fraction form. So we still know that when we multiply two numbers and the bases are the same, that we simply add the exponents. And so you can see that 8 to the m times 8 to the n is simply 8 to the m plus n, and that works just as well with fractional exponents or rational exponents, as we say. Notice there's different ways in which exponents can be written, kind of at a slanted way or straight up. I tend to prefer straight up. It's harder to write, but it's cleaner. Those are easier to write, but sometimes they get a little bit confused. So here you can see that the bases are the same, so we add the exponents, 1 third plus 2 third is 1, and of course 3 to the 1 is 3. So the rules are exactly the same for rational exponents. If we divide one number by another, then what we do here is when the bases are the same, we subtract exponents. So here, 3 to the 2 thirds divided by 3 to the 1 third is 3 to the 2 thirds minus 1 third, which means 3 to the 1 third. In the next video, we'll show you exactly what we mean by fractional exponents and how to go back and forth between, uh, ra between fractional exponents and between radicals. Now here we have a to the m raised to the n power, so we multiply the exponents. We do the same when the fractional exponents Notice that 3 to the 2 thirds, all of it raised to the 1 third, is simply 3 to the 2 thirds times 1 third. We use the rules for fractions, and that becomes 2 to the 9th as the exponent. Here also, when we have 8 times b to the n power, when this is in parentheses like this, the n applies to both the a and the b, so we can write it like this. Or if it's a over b, again, the n, the exponent, applies to both the numerator and the denominator. And so when we have fractional or rational exponents, you can see it works the same way. And then here, when we have negative exponent, we can write that in the denominator with a positive exponent. Or if we have a negative exponent in the denominator, we can write in the numerator with a positive exponent. And again, with rational exponents, it works exactly the same. And of course, we can't forget that a to the first power is simply a. So any number raised to the first power, you get the same number back. And any number raised to the zero power, yeah, one. Of course, zero to the zero power, there's some controversy about what that exactly means. So we'll skip that for now and approach it later. Notice why is a to the zero equal to one? Well, we could write it like this. a to the n divided by a to the n equals one. And now you can see when we subtract exponents, we get a to the zero. So therefore, a to the zero must equal one, just in case you're wondering. And that is how it's done.